how to find off-market commercial real estate deals. Ken Van Loo here, author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula. Make sure you subscribe below for invaluable information. Yeah. How to find off-market properties and turn them into off-market deals. Professional investors and agents find off-market properties by using several proven strategies. Using data-driven strategies helps them target the off-market real estate investment properties that are worthwhile pursuing while avoiding wasting time, money, and effort chasing bad deals. Not all off-market properties are positioned to be a good buy, so selecting your next investment or listing process is about finding that property that makes the most financial sense for you. If you are motivated to find off-market real estate opportunities and curious about how to turn them into deals, keep listening. This is a guide on how to find off-market properties and actionable insights on how to turn them into off-market deals. What are off-market properties? Before we start describing how to find off-market properties, it's important to be clear about what these properties are and how they are different from traditional real estate listings. Put simply, the term off-market property can refer to any property that is not currently listed for sale. Therefore, you will not find these properties listed on your typical real estate listing platforms like the MLS, nor are owners advertising them in alternate venues like newspapers, magazines, Craigslist, Zillow, Facebook. In fact, while sellers of off-market properties are usually willing to sell their homes if the right deal comes along, they are different from traditional sellers in that they are not actively attempting to market and sell their properties. Why? Why are properties sold off-market? Well, according to the National Association of Realtors, about 4% of sellers did not list their properties on the MLS in 2020. While this number might seem insignificant, it begs the question why the seller would consider selling a property off-market in the first place. Whether a property owner privately markets their property to a small group of prospects or directly negotiates with a potential buyer, several factors may lead to their decision of selling an asset or property off-market. Here are a few reasons why a property might be sold off-market. Benefits of pursuing off-market properties are such. While there are many active off-market properties for sale, they aren't always easy to find. As a result, some may wonder why savvy investors may bother with them at all. The truth is there are many benefits to focusing your investment strategy around off-market homes and off-market opportunities. If you are a motivated professional, you'll discover incredible deals that others miss because they weren't willing to leverage data. Here are the biggest benefits when choosing to pursue off-market properties and real estate. This will give you a sense of whether or not this strategy is the right fit for you. Number one, off-market real estate deals are unlimited. The biggest benefit of searching for off-market properties is that supply is virtually unlimited. While your local MLS service might only have a few hundred properties listed at a time, and only a few subsections of those properties might fit your criteria, there is no limit to searching off-market properties. For example, Property Radar has data on every property, which means you can get insight into millions of off-market properties. And while some property data sites and apps may limit you to searching for only certain types, like off-market commercial real estate or off-market mobile homes, Property Radar gives you the flexibility to find property that's right for you. That's a great source. So whether you're looking for off-market residential, commercial, land, industrial, mixed use, and other types, definitely check that out. Even investors with a particular focus area know the best off-market deals can be found sometimes in data. Two, finding off-market deals means less competition. These days, market listings are swamped with competition. In most markets, inventory is very low, and it seems like every other listing ends up in a bidding war with multiple offers. So by focusing on search for off-market properties, you virtually eliminate the competition. Since the supply of off-market homes is so much greater than the demand, there's only a minuscule chance that another investor will be interested in the same property at the same time as you. Instead, it's far more likely that it'll be only you negotiating on a deal, and that's what you want. Three, looking for off-market property real estate deals saves you time and money. 
Lastly, you can save time and money by looking at off-market properties. For example, rather than looking at listed properties being represented by someone having to pay a commission, you don't have to pay any commission on off-market properties. Now, there are some cons of pursuing off-market property. While pursuing off-market properties may be worth your time and investment, there are several factors to consider before making a decision about your chosen strategy. Whether you're looking for new leads or a new investment opportunity, you may need to consider the pros and cons before making a decision. Even the most experienced and well-rounded real estate professionals may run into setbacks, whether it comes to off-market properties or on-market properties. So I gathered a couple risks associated with pursuing off-market properties. Off-market properties require the proper due diligence and research. Whether you're pursuing an off-market commercial property or an off-market house, it's important that you leverage your research. Make sure you get the property inspected. The property won't be listed on the MLS, which means it won't have certain verifications. You have to visit the property in person. Another factor to keep in mind is the property might have unresolved title issues and tax liens. You have to make sure you check into this and ensure that you're not taking risks that you can't see. Off-market real estate deals don't always mean accurate market value, so you have to make sure you check your market values. It's very, very important that you make sure you're buying something below market value. And these are the primary disadvantages of off-market deals. Go out and find off-market deals because there is no competition. It is unlimited. This is Ken Van Loo. Subscribe before you leave. Check out my TikTok and Instagram and make it a great day. <laughs>